Hello, I am going to be solving today's New York Times crossword puzzle. So this is Thursday, July 16th, 2020, and I'm going to speak my thoughts out loud as I solve this. If you want to follow along, you should see the clues toward the top of the screen in red. Okay, let's dive in. Classic MTV show that launched a film franchise. Uh, not immediately sure. Jeopardy genius Ken Jennings. I'm a big Ken Jennings fan. Then what happened? Maybe and? Uh, what red might mean? Red could mean a lot of things, so I'm gonna I'm gonna move on. Um, is this a calla lily? But I thought calla lily was uh, two L's, so maybe I'll I'll get some more first. Firm in a way, al dente, nice. Okay, uh, do I see this one yet? Classic MTV show with a film franchise. What is that? I'm not sure. Certain fair fair. Uh. I'm thinking like funnel cake, but that obviously doesn't fit. So, or um, cotton candy, no, but that also doesn't work. I just knew it. I'm guessing that that's gonna be, aha. Hello or goodbye, what are these? Um, they're like greetings. Oh, aloha, interesting. Obsolescent storage device, like a CD, a CD-ROM. Uh, corn dog. That's great, Phil. And I guess this is CD-ROM, and this is like O O or something. CD-ROM and like O Ho. I just knew it. That's a little weak. I feel like Aha makes more sense. Blank meets Godzilla. Classic film short. Huh. So Godzilla's foes are like Rodin, Mothra, King Kong. I don't know what this one is though. Blank de Grom. Two times Cy Young winner. Damn, I don't think I know this. And what is this? I feel like... So I'm noticing just looking around the grid, trying to anticipate what's gonna happen, that there are no super long across entries or down entries for that matter. So it makes me think that the theme is not gonna be, is gonna be more hidden than that. It's not just gonna be the longest entries. So maybe there's like a rebus going on or something. I don't know though. What red might mean. Stop, good. Oh, jackass, wow. <laughs> what a one across. I wonder if this is theme related or if this is just a fun section. Great stack, jackass, al dente, and corn dog. Very fun way to start this puzzle. Uh, oh, a sego? Is that a, what it is, a sego lily? I think that's right. Cause of death in the Sherlock Holmes novel, The Sign of the Four. Poison, f no, poison doesn't fit. So I'm back to not having any idea. All right, let's go over here and see what happens house call that could be like yay or nay like um a vote in the house of representatives number one starter not sure what that means smoke huh what is smoke slightly maybe a tad or a bit uh 50 shades of gray for example it's like a novel, a fad, common recyclable, huh. Dojo Master is, uh, I know this one. What is it? What is it called? Come on. I'm a little slow today. Black and white stack. That's going to be Oreos. Ending with slub or gab. Slug. Slug fest and gab fest. Nice. Uh, life-saving prosthetic. Huh. Cause of death. What is this? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm struggling a little. Fifty Shades of Grey, for example. This is like... No, what is this? Soda can? Sure. I buy that. I'll put nay. Uh, number one starter. Still not seeing this one. And smoke. Oh, like a cig? Wow, like slang for cigarette? Interesting. Tough clue. Involving crystals and incense, say. New AG. I'm loving these corners. I have no idea if they're theme related at all, but soda can and new AG is also a good corner. And what is this one? Oh, it's erotica. Yeah, and not number one starter. Ace, I see. Um, yeah, this, these are great sections. 
I still I have no idea. This is playing like a themeless right now, except it doesn't have enough like super long stuff for a themeless. So what is this? Uh, Dojo Ma Sensei. I should have realized that. Okay, so here's something weird. This is themeish, I think, because Poison D does not make any sense. So cause of death is poison something, and I'm guessing this something weird is going on with this D because this obviously isn't a word, and that is um, the Thursday theme trickery at work. But I do not, I do not see what it is yet. I'm excited to find out. Life saving prosthetic. This is a little strange looking. Part of the Constitution establishing the executive branch. Is this I right? Is this a Y? Oh no, this is gonna be like article, like um, I see, this is gonna be a Roman, a Roman numeral, this I. So this is like, what is it? Article something? Be off base, that's probably air. Delinquent. Maybe like, no, like the planet Hoth, is that icy? Uh, damn, I don't think I know this. And what's this one? Yeah, I'm definitely slow today. I'm a little under the weather, so uh, I think it's slowing me down. Narrative through multiple TV episodes. That's a story arc. Nice, nice fill. Nice entry. This really, like, I guess the only the only evidence I have that there is a theme in this puzzle is this strange entry. I can't I can't believe that this is the correct answer. Um, but other than that, this is playing very much like a themeless puzzle. Turned up just a little. Uh, I'm not sure. Off limits. Taboo. Disseminate. Swords who might wipe their mouths with their sleeves. Slobs, I like that clue. That, that paints a picture right there. Sighting from a crow's nest. Uh, land, I see. So that's the crow's nest like on a ship, like when you're standing up on the mast. Disseminate. Is that like so, like so the seeds maybe? I think that could make sense. Rude one in an audience, a booer, I suppose. Uh, on low? Turned up just a little. Oh, I see, on low. Like it's not on a lot, it's on a little. It's on low. Got it. Do a favor for, oblige, I suppose. Okay, subpar performance. A birdie, good. Good clue. Does Bambi meet Godzilla? Because Jacob is a name and Bambi fits. That is a classic film short. That's pretty funny if Bambi actually meets Godzilla in a film short. I should look that up. Um, glad I managed to get that section. It was actually quite gettable. Part of the Constitution establishing the executive branch. This is, uh... This looks kind of strange. Like, what is this? I'm not sure. Delinquent. Is that like con? Huh. Nothing is coming easy to me today. Okay, let's go down here. Company with a great deal of advertising. Grubhub. Nice. Good clue, good entry. Then again, in texts. Is Grubhub wrong? Oh, no, not Grubhub. I, I was thinking of Groupon when I wrote Grubhub. I have no idea why I wrote Grubhub. Again, that's my slowness today, but um, I, was, I, I realized it was Groupon, and I just somehow instinctively wrote uh, Grubhub. And then, then again, it's on the other hand. Great. Uh, opposite of original is maybe trite. Protagonist in The Hitchhiker's Guide. I shamefully have not read The Hitchhiker's Guide. Doesn't remember the words say. Huh. Probably ends in an S. Its headquarters contains a sculpture with a still unsolved coded message. That's curious. Is it the CIA or NSA, maybe? Uh, Josh, kid, probably. I'll raise this because I'm just not sure. Be short. Okay, what's this one? Voice actor for Carl in Up, Ed Asner. I knew that one. Video game controller that uses gesture recognition. Is that a Wiimote? Wow, these se these corners are fantastic. Seriously, is it Thursday or is it Friday? Because what's going on here? Be short. That's O. Good. Big name in online dating. OkCupid. Okay, yeah, like look at these stacks. Like they're amazing. It was the CIA. 
but um, I thought Thursdays were supposed to have themes. <laughs> Doesn't remember the words, say, hums. Okay, protagonist, I still don't know that. Hey, say. Uh, fodder? Like, um, is that what you call, like, food that you feed a horse? Diagram at a business meeting. Not sure yet. That's crow Cro magnon. Distort, maybe um skew or something. Could be. So skew, let's try skew and trick, and then that works with what I was suspecting over here is late. Uh, what is this? Am I? Do I just not know what parts of the Constitution are called? I. This is like article or something. Oh, so art is missing. Whoa. Okay. Poison dart. Yes. Okay. So these these. So poison dart and article two or article six. I'm gonna guess two. Um, great. We have made some progress here. So it's uh, poison dart. I'm wondering if the art is just not there, or if we're supposed to imagine that in these three black squares, um, following the D, that they are somehow black art. Or oh, it's the black arts. That's gonna be the revealer. I'll bet. Or like the dark arts or something. Very cool. I think I got it. Um, okay, so this should, the rest of this should play easier now that I know what the theme is. Um, oh, so, oh, these are going to be R. That's why this didn't make any sense. So it's artificial. Awesome. Artificial heart. Oh, cool. There are two arts in this. That's a very nice touch. Very nice indeed. And then this is Arthur, I suppose. I still don't know who this character's name is, but cool. Wow. So there's a lot of, uh, dark arts in this puzzle. I wonder if there's a revealer or if they're just gonna let us um, figure it out on our own. Diagram at a business meeting is a flow chart. Great. Okay, not just think is act. Good uh, numerical trio. Um, what is the a numerical trio? Powdered green tea leaves, let's see. Come on, let's get some stuff. Break. Nope. Caught. Snared. Snared. Lift at a resort. Is that a T-bar? Father. Maybe Padre? Uh, leading is um, ahead. Good. Okay, break is... Uh, what's this? Oh, tap? Break like, um, like you tap out in a wrestling match or something you break, maybe? Classic leading lady honored on both US and Swedish postage. Um, not sure about that one. I-80 crosses the Missouri. Omaha. Is this right? Let's, uh, let's mo remove this T, because I'm not sure about it. Is this matcha, I think? Area code. Wow, numerical trio. That was tough. Um, classic leading... Oh, that's Greta Garbo, and break and gap makes more sense. I'd come up with some excuse for putting tab in, but Greta Garbo makes more sense. Great. Okay, ankle bones. These are, um, I always forget what these are called. I think it's like this. Mary Blank Evans. Uh, I should know that. One with dreads, maybe, is gonna be a Rasta. Nasty look is a sneer. Like neon is probably inert. Mary Ann Evans is George Eliot's name. I'm gonna commit that to memory right now. Okay, uh, and let's see. Sure makes sense. Title reportedly turned down by Stephen Hawking. Is that sir? That's interesting. Sign. Uh, not sure. Gutenberg for one is a a printer, I suppose. That makes sense. Ah, uh, here it is. Witchcraft, or what each block of three black squares in this puzzle represents. Dark art. Very cool. Very cool. And I'm proud of myself for getting it. Sign. What is this? Ink? Not sure I get that. Prefix that's a terawatt, probably. Uh, Brooklyn Nine-Nine is the NYPD. I guess it's Arthur Dent. Yes, I see. Awesome. So that was our puzzle right there. This is a very good puzzle. Uh, the the theme is not as um, neat. It's uh, it was it had a real aha moment. Um, 
I, I yeah, I felt found it very satisfying to figure this out. I feel like if, I don't know, somebody were just getting into Thursday puzzles, this would be a really good kind of intro to Thursdays because it's got that Thursday trickiness, but it's not like too bizarre. Um, and it's also just like very clean um, and has like lots of great stuff in it. So uh, this is a good Thursday puzzle. Um, you know, for, for me, who's solved a lot of crossword puzzles, I've seen a lot of uh, themes kind of like this where the black squares spell something out and it's some, some you know, excuse that black or they're dark, some phrase that uh, includes a word like dark or black as a revealer. Um, so I've seen a lot of themes like this. So maybe it's not like the most exciting Thursday I've ever seen, but as far as this theme type goes, this is an extremely uh, well executed version of it. I especially really like the touch of having the double art in artificial heart, which is a totally real phrase, and um, that that's like this definitely elevates this puzzle to to like a next level. This 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 you know is just like a real touch that um that took effort. There's a lot of theme material in this. We have six whole arts in here and all of the art phrases are are really good. Um poison dart, maybe article two is not the most exciting phrase, but it's fine. Um then we have flow chart and Arthur Dent I'm assuming is well known to a lot of other solvers. What is particularly impressive about this puzzle to me is um, how good the bonus fill is, especially considering that there's not that much long stuff. I mean, this um, the theme is very demanding, and even the theme itself requires a lot of dark squares, so uh, there's not a lot of long entries in this puzzle, but these three stacks up here are just very well filled. I'm super impressed. Like, it's not that easy to make every seven letter word in a section pop but with soda can erotica new ag corn dog al dente jackass ok cupid we ed asner dark art and yeah okay maybe these two weren't as good as the others but like that is some damn good stuff um for for only seven letter slots like i'm, I'm quite impressed with with those sections and we also have the nice area code and the very nice story arc so uh as like i think when you have a crossword without, without a lot of uh, large entries, it's it's really hard to, to make it shine as, as well as this one does. Oh yeah, and I wasn't even mentioning the downs. We also even have Birdie, uh, Downton, Matcha, and, and Groupon. So, um, very, very well filled puzzle. The clues were solid, uh, you know, maybe a little more straightforward than you need to be on a Thursday. Uh, I liked I liked the clue on birdie, subpar performance, that's cute, it wasn't hard. Um, I also liked the clue on slobs just because uh, it paints a good picture, also not hard. I think the clues could have been made more difficult in this puzzle. Sig had a hard clue, I think. Um, yeah, smoke as a clue for Sig, I, f I found to be tough. But uh, other than that, not a ton of resistance. I was generally slow today, but uh, not, not necessarily because the puzzle was hard. So this was a good week for puzzles, and I'm excited to see what next week brings. I will be back here on Monday. I do these every Monday through Thursday. If you're new here and you like this, uh, consider clicking the red subscribe button below the video to keep in touch. I make all sorts of puzzle-related videos. And uh, thanks so much for your attention.